everybody welcome back to the channel i hope y'all enjoyed the last video if you didn't see it yet i installed the uh, b m short shifter so go ahead and check that out on my channel but today i'm finally going to be replacing the headlight covers for the s14 if you watched the last video i said i was going to do it i had a couple ideas in mind but i decided i'm just going to replace the headlight covers only because it's the cleanest look i feel and i don't want to do anything extra so that's today's project i got my little brother with me in the passenger seat i'll show you guys where everything is mounted for the headlights and i'll show you guys the process on how to change your headlight covers to the clear covers that i got from circuit motorsports i believe don't quote me but i'll leave a link down in the description it's not the worst i guess from the camera's view it's not doing it justice but they're like it's an old car so as you can tell as you can assume it's going to be pretty foggy and the oem uh headlight covers come with like these lines in them and I kind of just want something clear and clean so that way we can get rid of these lines and all these fogginess that happens over age. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out, pop the hood and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We got a couple bolts if you look over here. We got one right here that needs to be taken out and then we got two right over here. There's two more bolts there. Um, I'm not sure if there's any more bolts. I'm pretty sure that's it. So. I'll go ahead and take these out, show you guys how to take them out, and then uh, we'll bring them inside so that way we can heat up the uh, lenses and separate the lens from the housing. So stay tuned. So right now we're getting these two on the inside right here. They're actually 10 mil. They should come out fairly easy. Not so Second bolt kind of stuck in there because it's a bit rusted, but I'll go ahead and just poke that out. Then we got this one mounted right here in the corner. All right, you just wiggle it out. Uh, the corner light will have like this ball joint that will be inserted in the slot right here. Uh, mine was kind of rusted on, so I had to use the flathead and the mallet, kind of just gave it a little whack and it came right out. So this is the corner light. Then if you come over here, We've got two more screws, one and two. Undo those and then you can just take out your headlight. So quick tip, uh, if you're like me who drives an S14 or you have the um, Sylvia front grille, you won't be able to uh, really take the headlights out because you need to slide the headlights this way and you'll get in, you'll run into the Sylvia uh, grille. So there's just two uh, 10 millimeter bolts back there. I already went ahead and took them out. All you need to do is, is um, it's clipped in just uh, if you didn't already know be very careful when uh, lifting it up from the bottom it, uh, it's pretty fragile you know old Japanese parts they can break pretty easy so uh, what I did I had one bolt that was just a little bit or not one bolt I had like one clip end that was just a little bit tough I was too scared to break it so I sprayed just a little bit of WD-40 in there and when I tried prying it up it came right out but now that that's free I can go ahead take the headlight uh, bulbs out from the back and just take the uh, headlight out and I'll do that for the other side and I'll see you guys inside when I'm done. All right and those are the wirings for the bulbs. You can see they're out from the main headlight itself. Uh, when taking these out don't be afraid to just give it a squeeze and pull. Um, they're a little bit tough to take out especially when they're old. As you can see it's all dusty here and everything so I had to get a bit of force for mine to come out but it's finally out and I'll see you guys inside to show you how to change these headlight covers to the clear covers so we got two pins right here in the top of the headlights that keep the headlights together besides the shocking so if you just grab a flat screwdriver you can just pry the uh, two clips out grab that there's one there's the other just two clips and so now we have the oven preheated to 250 degrees Got the headlight here and all you want to do is heat up the, uh, the sealant for a couple minutes just so that way when you take it out it's hot enough to separate the headlight cover from the housing and all this is going to go ahead and, and put the headlight inside the oven just go ahead Carol. it's already hot be careful because it's hot already So we'll give it a couple minutes, five to seven minutes. We'll go ahead, um, take them out and see if they're ready to, uh, if the uh, sealant is hot enough to go ahead and separate the 
headlights from the housing or for the headlight cover from the housing. A few moments later. All right, it's been in for like almost 10 minutes, I think. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out of the oven. I'll get it burned or anything. Now I'm gonna try to separate it. There's two more clips, by the way, that I didn't see. Oh, that's not good. Those are not good. Those are not supposed to be there. We got it heated up enough, so it's separated. You can see the ceiling separating. I don't want to get any of it in the housing, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. And there you go. That is how you separate your headlight covers from your housing. And now we can go ahead and throw on the new headlight covers on the housing of the headlights. So I brought it outside, but as you can see, I have the uh, separated headlight housing. So like I said, we heated up the headlight covers, removed them, separated them. Now we're left with this. And I have the new clear headlights, uh, headlight covers right here. So here I've got the, um, it's butyl rubber, so I didn't want to go ahead and buy a sealant that can get messy, so I just bought butyl rubber, which I heard is like really, uh, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I, I heard it's really good. So what you do is you kind of just take some and you stretch it to fit the inside of the housing. You throw your uh, headlight cover back on and I believe you just heat it back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that whole process right now. I went ahead, put uh, butyl rubber all in, all in the cracks of the housing. As you can see, sorry, the lighting is not the best right now. My flashlight died that I have connected to my camera, but once that's done, we'll go ahead now and drop the new clear headlight covers in, I believe, like that. And this is what I got right now. I got butyl rubber all around the edges. Uh, hopefully it's good enough because I don't want any moisture getting in here But I've never done this before so I guess we'll find out if I have to take it apart do it again I guess I will but I feel like I probably should have put more but I don't have a heat gun or anything So I'll probably just throw it back in the oven For a couple minutes let the butyl rubber soften up and then squeeze them back together and let it cool So I'll see you guys with the final product. It is a new day last night. I got really tired so I kind of just did the other headlight and wrap things up quick, um, zip tied them, put the uh, butyl rubber on or whatever, you know, reheated it and I kind of just brought it outside because like I said, I was tired and I will show you guys the finished product right now. And here is the headlights with the clear covers. So on the first one, I did such like terrible job. Cause you know, my first time, I didn't know what to expect, whatever. And then on the second one, I just kind of did way better. You know, it's way cleaner, not as messy. So I guess you always do better the second time. I just didn't know what to expect, but they look really good. And um, Zenki's right here. Got the corner lights out until I put these back in and the Sylvia uh, front grill. So, I will put those in shortly, but I actually have to go to AutoZone because last night, uh, pulling out the wiring for one of the bulbs, uh, <laughs> one of the bulbs, uh, like the prongs kind of got stuck or something. I, like, I don't know, it broke regardless. So I need to go to AutoZone and get new bulbs first. And then after I get the bulbs, replace those in there. Um, and then I will install those, so I will skip all that stuff and show you what it looks like installed. So stay tuned. And this is the final product of the clear cover uh, for the headlights. And I think it looks super good. I like how it like almost sinks in, but it's like you can see that it's actually not sunk in. It's actually sticking out right here. 
it's like almost flush with everything. I think it looks super good. It makes the car look a lot cleaner on the front end. I think I need it. I'm gonna try to go ahead and tweak some things because like there's a gap here as you can see. Um, I'm gonna see if I can mess with the fitment as best as I can. But other than that, it looks amazing. Love the way it came out. I actually wanted to show you guys what it looks like because uh, I just got out of a photo shoot with uh, Jacob who did my detailing in one of my last episodes when I put the wheels on. He also does photography, so shout out to Jacob. I'll leave a link uh, to his Instagram down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check him out if you're in the Las Vegas area. He does great work. But I just got done with the photo shoot for the Zenki and for the merch, so stay. If you don't follow my Instagram already, I also leave that in the description below. You guys will see first when it comes to the merchandise. I also shot those shots for the website when the merch drops, which is hopefully very soon. I can't wait to get it to you guys. But again, this is how the headlight covers look. Everything came out amazing. But that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I hope it helped. So please, if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. It really helps me out to get more exposure, make more content for you guys so I can do a better job at it. Um, but again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell so you know when I upload. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Don't you open up that window, open up that window, open up that, open up that, oh, 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 okay, Lamborghini Mercy, yo chick she so thirsty, I'm in that two-seat Lambo with your